Right, hi, so I just wanted to uh, jump on um, a little clip at the beginning of this video uh, to say this is what we're making. Uh, it will need a, a little uh, light blocking afterwards just to uh, get these uh, edges a little bit more straight. But this is, um, I've not blocked it and I'm walking on it, as, just so you can see. Uh, so a couple of people are asking me what uh, yarn I've used. It's a generic yarn, which is a, a local to my area, uh, I think. Uh, but the next best uh, yarn you can use would be Stylecraft um, Special DK. It comes in some fa fantastic ranges of colours uh, and I think uh, it would be the perfect substitute if if you can get Stylecraft. So, um, moving on to the next part of the video, uh, which is the tutorial. So, uh, I will see you there. Hey guys, welcome back to a, another tutorial today. Uh, today we're going to be making the Ripples and Squares blanket, which I've had a few requests to do a tutorial, so here we go. So, what you're going to need is six colours of yarn. Now, you can use any colours you like and any weight you like, uh, but for reference, I'm going to be using a double knit today. This is just a generic, uh, a generic brand. Uh, it's 100% acrylic and it's 300 metres. So I have one, two, three, four and five colours here and I'm also going to be using black. Uh, I'm going to be using black uh, in a part of a tutorial where you're already going to be confident in what you're doing anyway. So don't get scared about that because I know a lot of people have trouble seeing it on camera. Right, so since it is a double knit, we are going to be using a 4mm crochet hook today which I'm going to be using this trusty old one. Uh, which is very warm. You're going to need something to cut with and something to uh, a darning needle to sew in all those pesky ends because in this tutorial there's a lot of ends what need sewing. So what I recommend is to sew those um, as you go along because otherwise you're just not going to do it when you finish. So follow me on for the next part of the tutorial where we're going to get started making our inside square. Right, so with our 4mm crochet hook and any colour of yarn of your choosing, uh, we're going to make a solid granny square. So this square is going to be the very centre of our blanket. So uh, to do a, the solid granny square, to start off, we're going to do a slip knot for our hook and then we're going to chain four. So one, two, three and four. Then we're going to slip stitch back into this first chain. And then we're going to chain three. Now this is going to, if you've made granny squares before, brilliant, you're going to know what we're doing on this. Uh, if you haven't, this is uh, what we're going to do. So we're going to make a, a, two more double crochets back into this loop, because we want three together. Or three and then a corner. So I've got my chain three and then I have my two double crochets right there. So, we're going to chain two, this makes our corner. I'm going to work over a uh, little tail a bit as well. And then we're going to put in another three double crochets. So there's one, two, and three. And then chain two to make another corner. And then another three double crochets. One, two and three. So we've got two corners there. So we need to keep going, make another corner. So chain two and then another three double crochets right into the center of the ring. So there's one. two and three. So we need one more corner to make our miniature little square. So chain two and we're going to slip stitch into the third chain on here. So there's there's one, there's two, hope you can see this, one, two and then our third one is just sitting right there. So I'm just going to pop my hook through that and slip stitch together. Uh, slip stitch it together. 
Right, there we go. So we have four corners and four sides. So what we need to do now is chain three. And then in the next two here, we are going to place in a single crochet. Uh, du uh, double crochet even, sorry. One. So that's two. And then in this corner, we are going to do two double crochet. So one. Two. Chain two. And then another two. And this, this makes a corner. So one. And two. Right, so what, what we need to do now is we're going to work on this side. So if you just pull your stitches a little bit, it kind of opens this stitch out uh, right here. Now, when I first started doing these squares, I used to miss this stitch out and I used to get into a terrible mess. So throughout this pattern, uh, always make sure you go into this. <laughs> I can't express that enough. Right, so that's through that one. One through the next. Now we're just using double double crochets for this entire pattern. One through the next. And now we're back to another corner. So two two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. So there's two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet. So again, I'm just going to uh, pull this a little bit so I can see that stitch clearly and I'm just going to carry on across this side. So I think across each side you should have seven stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. Yeah, so on this round each side has seven stitches. So in the corner again, so it's two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet. Then I like that corner, so I'm just going to uh, move our stitches across and carry on working. And then in a corner again, so that's chain two, uh, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. So I'm just going to count uh, how many I have on this side first. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So I just need to do my two, five, six, and that's seven. Right, I'm just going to jump jump straight into the, this uh, top of this chain three. I will start in chain three on there. A little bit fiddly with uh, DK sometimes. Right, so we're not uh, we're not working into a corner or anything. We're just going to chain three, one, two, and three, and I'm just going to keep going. So into the next stitch, we want a double crochet and each stitch across until you hit your corner. Right, I'm in a corner again, so that's two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. I'm going to speed up a little bit. Pull that a little bit so it reveals where I need to go into on there. So just placing one double crochet in each stitch around. I 
back into my corner again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to meet, uh, catch you back uh, when I get to the end of here and we'll carry on. Right, so I'm just approaching my corner. So I'm just going to uh, do my corner in there. So two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. There's my chain two. And here come my other two double crochets to complete that corner. Right, so I'm just going to do a quick count on this side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So you should have 11 stitches from there to there. So from corner to corner, 11 stitches. Oops, I nearly missed that first stitch then. Did you see that? <laughs> nearly. Still catches me out sometimes, so it's always good to uh, double check your count. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I've got 10, and this is my 11th stitch right there. And I'm just going into the top of that chain 3 and join. So, chain 3 again, because we, we need an another two rounds on the starting square. No, we need another one round even. So, what we can do is we're just going to dive straight in and carry on stitching. So, just one double crochet in each stitch until you hit your corner where it is, you guessed it. Two double crochets, chain two and two double crochet. Right, so I'm going to catch up with you at the end of this round where we will, we will carry on with the video. Right, so that is our beginning square with uh, so far we've got a total of four rounds, so that's one, two, three, and four. So I've just decided I want to put another two rounds on this to make it six. Uh, I do have a good reason for that, but uh, I'll tell you about that later. Right, so we're just going to chain up again, so chain three back into that into that next stitch there and we're just going to carry on in the, uh, working in the same way so you should uh, be able to do this uh, off camera because it's all the same for every round the only difference is each round it increases by two is it by two? yeah by two, one on each side so I'm going to come back when we have a square of six rounds. So I'll see you in a moment. Right, so now I've completed my square with uh, six rounds. So one, two, three, four, five and six as you can see. It's looking now, uh, yeah, a little wonky at the moment, but it does uh, it does all even itself out. So as you can see, I've, I have my uh, chain threes up there. Um, you're not going to notice these by the time we finish uh, this crazy blanket anyway. So for the next part of the video, what I want you to do is Rewind me a little bit and go back to the beginning and I want you to make two squares with four rounds So one two three and four so it should only be like this big so you're going to uh, Do these next two squares in the same color as your beginning square and then join me back for the next part of the video Right then so we have our Big square and now two little ones. Now I've gone and sewn me uh, tails in on most of these, apart from the, uh, my two small ones, because since we end up finishing here, what I'm going to do now is this is just a little a little uh, trick. What I picked up for this uh, design is I'm just going to flip it on its back, and I'm just going to sew that uh, in down that stitch. I'm not pulling it tight because we're going to have to work into this stitch at, at some point. And then I'm just going to scoot on underneath. 
and then I'm going to go up this corner stitch, turn, and from the back up twice. So that one's twice. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to take my big square, doesn't matter which corner you do this on, and I'm just going to always helps if you're on a flat surface and I'm going to go through this uh, chain 2 space in my corner. So I'm not working into a stitch, I'm going straight through straight through this gap and I'm just going to draw them just over touching and then I'm just going to go through it again and I'm going to pull it a little bit tighter this time so I'm, I'm holding this in between my fingers so it doesn't really move anywhere and then I'm going to go through once more a good look. I'm just going to turn this a little bit and then I'm just going to go straight through that loop, uh, then loops what we just done because that kind of secures it again. So I'm going to go through there twice. Pull that on a little bit tighter because it's not going to affect, uh, affect it this way, it's just going to affect the size of these uh, little loops. And then I'm going to turn again and I'm just going to work one stitch across and then I'm going to go down that stitch into this so like a uh, corner spaces here and that is how you're going to sew on every single square of this tutorial and that's not going anywhere and then I'm just going to get my snippers and take off this little end and there we have it we have one square sewn onto one corner. So what we're going to do is we're going to go onto the opposite corner up here and sew on our next square and then pick your next colour and then join me for the next round. Right, so now I've got the two uh, squares sewn on to opposite sides of my middle square. I've got my next colour, so I'm going to use this uh, kind of powdery blue colour and I'm just going to pick on a corner. So what I like to do is uh, pick on one of these little corners up here. So rather than having to go all the way up there, I'm going to do this one right here. So into my corner, I am just going to do a chain three. So one, two and three. Now I am going to work across this tail. The, the more uh, tails you can work across on this, the uh, absolute better it's going to be for you sewing in all those loose ends. So, to make, uh, to make a corner, it's uh, in this one it's going to be chain 3, a double crochet, a chain 2, and then two double crochets straight into that space. Just like any other corner on any other square. Right, so, so I want to be working over that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work across until I get uh, get over here, then I'll show you what to do. So I don't have any row counts for this. Uh, basically, uh, we're just we're just making it from uh, scratch with no pattern today. But once you get the hang of how to uh, navigate the corners and you know what uh, stitches you need to miss then you can't really go wrong so I'm just going into each stitch across uh, this uh, wee little square here with a double crochet making sure that we've enough of that tail in where I'm not even going to have to sew it in or anything I can just snip it off and forget about it because it, it won't come out So about there, and I'm just going to get rid of it because it's now in my way. Make sure you don't cut this uh, working yarn. Right, so what we're going to do is carry on working across this side and we're not going to work anything into these last two stitches on this square. So. Keep going. How many have I got? I've got three there, so I need to do one more. 
Right, so now what we want to do is we want to start working on this side, on this side of this square. So you do end up with a bit, uh, a bit of a hole in these corner sections, which is fine. So what you want to do is you want to make this stitch as tight as you can get it. Basically, it's still a double crochet, no chains. And what we're going to do is we're going to work into the third stitch on this big square. So if you count this, if you can see this um, stitch here, and um, that's where you would work in. And then that's the next one, and that's where you'd work in. And on the third one, this is where we're going. So one, two, and in that third one. Now, what I normally do is I normally give this a bit of a tug. Hold, hold my stitches, or my stitch, just for this first one. And then we're just going to carry on working. So it ends up looking like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to carry on working up this side. Just like you would do if you were doing a normal square. So you're going to put one, sing uh, one double crochet in each stitch across. So I've just gone over my uh, scene there, I think, yeah. also see how I'm holding the yarn, yarn on this video. What I tend to do is I have I've got a habit of uh, putting it through my little finger and that keeps uh, my tension and then uh, it leaves the rest of my fingers free to uh, pretty much uh, control my yarn as well. So all, uh, all experience and all uh, practice. So I'm in the corner, so that'll two double crochet and then chain two and then two double crochet. Just like we have been doing. Again, don't forget this first stitch on your corner because we need to make sure we get these stitches in every single round of this pattern because otherwise you can end up in a bit of a uh, jumbled mess and it's not going to sit flat. So I'm just going to work across over here, make, making sure my squares are facing the right way. Right, I'm just going to do this off camera actually because it's taking too long, so I will be back in a moment. Right, so I'm nearly back to uh, my next uh, in inside corner. So always check whereabouts you are, just uh, by this corner and how many stitches you have. So you always want to have two left unworked. So there we go, one and two. Then I'm just going to turn it a little bit because it's easier for me to work on. And then we're just going to work into a third stitch on this little square. So as long as, long as you always make it into the right uh, stitch, so there's one, there's two, and there's number three, you really cannot go wrong with these uh, increasing rounds. And then just a double crochet in each stitch. That's a bit funny looking. That'd be alright. I think it's just a. Uh, yeah, that's just where my chain free will. Not to worry. So, that's all we're going to do for this round. And then uh, what I'll do is I will catch you back just uh, as I'm about to finish. So, carry on working the other side of this uh, 
pattern in the exact same way. Remember to keep your stitches as tight as you can when you uh, jump in over uh, these corners. So I will catch you back in a moment. Right, so I'm just coming to the end of that round. So I think I've just got one more stitch left, which I do. And then I'm going to slip stitch back into the top of that chain three. And then I'm going to chain three. One, two, and three. What we're going to do is we now we're going to work another round of this blue colour, or whatever colour you've uh, decided to do. So I just want to put another stitch in this uh, in there before my corner, and then work my corner as normal. So that's two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. Sorry if I'm uh, crocheting at a funny angle today, it's just a habit of, I suppose. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to carry on until I get down here, and then I'm going to stop just before these uh, two stitches there. So don't forget this uh, first stitch. Never forget that stitch. <laughs> So I don't really have to go all the way around this, I'm, I'll just do it till I get to the corner. Quite liking this uh, powder blue colour next to that uh, sunflower yellow. It's going to look like a uh, sherbet, <laughs> sherbet fountain by the time we finish with these uh, slightly more pastel colours today. I think it's going to look really nice with the different contrasts. So I've got three stitches there, so I just want to do that last one. So then I have two. Two before that corner. One and two. And then I'm ready to jump over onto this big uh, middle square again. So again, keep keep your tension tight. So these are the two I'm missing, that's my centre hole, and then one, two, and then I'm going to go to this third. So and every single round uh, is done the same way. For, uh, for this uh, blanket. So what, what you're going to do is you are going to complete this round on your own. I think, uh, I think it's pretty much self-explanatory on how to do your corners now. And then what you're going to do is you are going to do... Oh, let's see for this one, because we're just, we're just making this up as we go along and it's going to be uh, stunning by the time we finish. So our, our next little thing what we want to do is we want to make two more squares with two rounds. So it's the centre round and then the next round. So the small, uh, smaller than these ones again. So uh, finish this round, make you two, two squares with two rounds and then I will see you back. Right, so I've just finished my two rounds of that blue colour, as you can see, and I've already gone ahead and made my little squares. So this is um, just a regular square, just with two rounds, uh, like we've been starting off with the rest. And I'm just going to go to my opposite corner, and then I'm just going to sew on my other square. So I've already uh, got my uh, square already fixed and with my yarn directly into that corner. Move that up a bit. And I'm just gonna sew this little guy on here. Remember, you just go, uh, you just need to go through the actual corner and not any of the stitches itself. So it's just straight through that chain two space. And then back through the inside of those little loops twice. That just, uh, that just really fixes it on there. And then I'm just gonna weave that in a little bit because we can we can work over this tail in a bit and that'll just disappear. Right, so what I'm gonna do now is I am gonna move on to my next colour. So I think I'm gonna use this uh, lilac colour because that looks really nice next to that uh, blue. Even if your colours completely clash, uh, even better. Uh, like the one I made uh, recently, uh, I'd use any 
colour I could get my uh, little uh, hands on and it turned out absolutely fantastic. Right, so what, what we're going to do is we are just going to get our hook again and our next colour yarn and I'm just going to go directly into the corner of this little one. But it, it doesn't matter where you work into really. Remember if you go into a corner, if you make the entire corner, so uh, it's just easier. So one, two and three. One double, chain two, and then two more doubles. So I think you already know what uh, we're going to be doing now. Oops, sorry, that's my TV kicking off. I'll just turn that off. And then I can carry on. <laughs> I do apologise about that. So we're just going to work across this uh, little square. So pretty much it, it, you know, each section of this, whilst we're increasing our blanket, is is basically the same. You know, so not really doing any, anything different, it's just the amount of rows on each uh, square increases as we go around. So, I've only got two stitches left here, so time to head on over to this next square and jump across. So there's my first stitch, there's my second stitch, and this is my third. Don't forget, if you've got a yarn tail there, just trap that little uh, guy in this next stitch. Keep them looking quite tight. If, 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 it don't look, uh, if it look a bit gappy, uh, just pull it out and do it again. Because one, once you get uh, further into your blanket, you just... You do uh, start to uh, see uh, any larger uh, uh, holes in, in there. Right, so that's that. So we're going to do two rounds of this colour all the way around uh, our piece. Uh, don't forget to keep these stitches nice and tight. And then after we've done two rounds of this lilac colour, you're going to make two more squares with two rounds only. So I will see you after I've done that. Right, so I've finished my two rounds of this uh, really nice uh, pastel lilac colour. And it's starting to take a, a little bit more shape now as this uh, blanket. As you can see, this middle square just keeps on getting bigger. And then this square keeps getting bigger. And even this little one will get bigger also. So what I'm going to do is I've got two little squares again. I'm going to sew uh, one to this side and one to this side. And I'm going to carry on uh, building this centrepiece of, the blan uh, of this uh, blanket up uh, because I have this pistachio to get through and uh, some black and some white. So I'm, I'm just going to carry on. So basically what this is going to do is, just for a bit more of a better representation, uh, I'm just going to turn my entire work surface round so, as you, as you can see on this corner, so your very last corner of your blanket is going to be uh, the very top corner of your blanket. So then it's going to, we're going to work it across that edge and then also this edge. So just be aware that uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't sit like this, but if you want in a, a decent sized blanket to get the size all you need to do is lay it out flat on the ground and then uh, you can either get a piece of yarn uh, don't tie it to anything and kind of put it in a parallel line across like that until uh, uh, until it's uh, quite uh, quite long and then what you can do is get another piece from the bottom corner that side and put it parallel and um, lay it upwards and that'll give you a rough uh, size guide to how big it's going to be. So I'm going to carry on working until I have cycled all the way through my colours. So I'm going to do this pistachio next and then I'm going to do a white row then a black row and that's cycled through my entire colour scheme. 
as to uh, and then what we're going to do is I will come back and then we're going to start on the decreasing rows uh, to make uh, make it into uh, a square. So with that being said I will be back uh, in a short while. Uh, it's going to be instantaneous on this video but for, in reality it's going to be about four hours. So I will see you soon. Bye! <laughs> Right guys, so hopefully you now have all your centre squares done and um, with your, uh, you yeah, know, with the two rows connecting. So I'm just going to kind of slide this over. So that's our, my middle square there. So I have one, two, getting smaller, three, four, and five, which is the very corner because that's uh, uh, big enough for this blanket. And then from this side, I have five again also, which are exactly the same. So what we're going to do now is we're going to, I'm going to show you how to make this, uh, which is really simple. So this is um, how to do two of our leading edges. So this is going from the corner and uh, all the way across and it makes a corner on the other side and down. So basically what this is uh, now is a four row repeat. So this is going to be our first row, that's our second, our third, then our fourth. And as you can see, it starts again here, but it's just a little, a little, a few more stitches in there, but the idea is still the same. As you can see, uh, you know, this gets longer and longer as it goes across. And then uh, there's a slight difference uh, towards when you get to this corner, because um, we have uh, one, two, three, four five, six and seven. Seven rows on, on here because uh, this because of how deep this uh, corner actually is and how much we need to fill in. But the uh, the technique is still the same so I'm not going to do uh, a row by row for this uh, because after you've done the first four rows and then the, uh, then the next ro rows after that you, you're going to know which stitches you need to go into and this pattern where we missed two stitches here it stays the exact same as the rest of the blanket. So with that being said I'm just going to find the end of my yarn. So what I'm doing is uh, to get this uh, pattern uh, the beginning of my blanket I went from yellow, blue, lilac pistachio green, black and white. So what I've done now is I'm going uh, reversing those colours around. So I'm starting with a single row of single row of black. So yeah, I am starting with black. I do apologise. Uh, I will have to grab that in a second. So we're going to start with black and cycle back for our colours. So follow me on for the next part of this uh, tutorial where we will get started. Right, so I'm just going to pick this corner. Um, with, with these rows, we're going to do one row and each row, we're not going to turn our blanket, we're just going to cut the yarn. And it does mean extra ends to sew in later, but what it does mean is that each and every row is facing in, in um, the same the same direction. Uh, I think it just looks better. I, I prefer doing it like this. So what we're going to do is, we're going to set this our corner. And now what we're going to do is, we're going to go into the second of these chain stitches what make up the corner on the uh, little square. So there's one and two. And we're just going to fix our yarn, yarn on and chain three. So one, two and three. I'm going to work in this little end and we're going to go into the first stitch right here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to work this row like normal until we get to the end. So stitch for stitch, don't forget the way, uh, to miss those uh, two double crochets on your corners. Because you know, the, this, this part of the pattern doesn't change. So there's our two right there. And then we just hop on over that little gap. So there's two and then hop on over. Keep, keep your stitches nice and tight and just carry on crocheting for your life. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get to the end of this row and I will join you back uh, so you know which stitch we're going to on the end. So carry on stitching and I'll be back in a moment. 
Right, so I'm just coming up on uh, this corner, so I'm just going to carry on on camera. So, I hope uh, everyone uh, is uh, been able to follow this tutorial so far. Sorry I'll do, if I don't ever do stitch counts, but if you're doing stitch by stitch, as, as long as you uh, double check you're going into the right ones, you can't really go wrong. So, I did, I have had a couple of people comment on that recently, but I'm like, well... I'm not about to uh, sit and count every single stitch in a blanket because A, I can't be bothered and B, I don't want to. <laughs> right, so, we're just coming up on the end. And we're just about to hit that corner. So, I have one, two, three, four and five. So since we got rid of two here, I I'm, I just need one extra one there. So I'm going to go into uh, into now the first chain stitch in that corner. So we started on this on on the second chain stitch, and you finish on the first with a double crochet, pull a bit of yarn out, and then cut it. Cut it because each row from here to the end of the blanket is its own colour. So, follow me on for the next row. Right, so this is where I've just finished off. So, without turning over my blanket, I'm just going to scoot on back to the beginning where I started. So, that is where I started, and I've got my next colour, which is this really uh, cool uh, pistachio kind of green colour, which I absolutely love. And I'm going to go into the top of my chain three. Sorry, I know it's black. I know you can't see it. Uh, and even I can't see it in this light, my god. So I'm just going to go in, into the top of that chain three. And pull up a loop. And then I'm going to chain three again. So one, two and three. So that's one stitch, two, three, four. Right, so that's classing with my first stitch, so going straight into your next one. Just that stitch after that chain three on the row underneath, into the next. So you should have four stitches by the time you get to uh, where you need to jump over. So that's going to be uh, three stitches and that chain three, because we, we've only got two left in that corner. And we need to skip those. So I'm just going to jump right over again. Going into my third stitch from the previous row on the opposite side of the corner. And I'm just going to carry on. So, you know, as you can see, this works out the exact same as what we've been doing throughout, uh, throughout this uh, blanket tutorial. So I will catch up with you at the end of this row. So we've got our three there. Our chain three and then our corner. So I will be back in two moments. Right, so I'm just coming up to uh, the end of my second row. So again, I apologise for using black yarn today again. But hey, it's not like uh, it's all black. So um, don't forget to miss those uh, two stitches there in that corner. Or in any corner for that matter. And and I've just got these ones up here. So, good rule of thumb for these is since we started with four stitches uh, at the beginning of this row, if I remember rightly, we need to finish with four. So after you've skipped your two stitch, after you skip those two stitches, we've got one, two, three, and th that end one, which makes four. So that's all we need to do for, the, uh, for here is those four stitches. What I generally do is I normally do uh, about four rows, and then I go in and weave all my ends. Uh, because if you leave more till end, you, they'll just sit, sit there for ages, and uh, let, let's be honest, you'll never get them done. So, to t try and keep your edges nice, nice, neat and tidy, every four rows, uh, generally weave in all your ends, and it's less to do later. Right, so that's four there. So, what we're going to do is cut my yarn again and go back to the beginning. So, basically, what we are uh, trying to achieve uh, with this uh, type of... Uh, rows is whatever you do at the beginning of a row you're going to be doing at the end uh, 
and it just makes it a little bit easier to remember. But I, what I have found though is that the end where you finish does end up looking a little bit wonky, but we can fix that with our edging uh, at the end of this tutorial. So don't worry about it, it will be fine. Right, so moving on to the next row. Right, so onto row three of this little uh, four row repeat, what we're going to do is we're just going to go into the third chain of this stitch, or the third chain of that uh, chain three, and we are going to chain three again. So one, two, and three. So what we're going to do is, since we, um, we're always skipping our two stitches there, and this is technically a stitch, we're just going to pop one in not into the next stitch, uh, yeah, into the next stitch, sorry. Uh, I was just looking at that a bit funny then. Don't know where my mind is today. So even though this looks a little funny at the moment, uh, the, ne the next round will rectify that problem. So, again, since this is our two stitches, what we skip, and so is this, we're going to go straight into that third one right there. And carry on, and I will see you at the end of this row. Pop another couple in and then flatten it out, so I can show you. So yeah, don't worry, uh, if this looks a bit funny, uh, we will be putting another row which is a, a row which is going to work straight across there, so that uh, helps structure that area a little bit. So I will catch you at the end of this row, so I will see you soon. Right, so again I'm just coming up to the end of this round, I apologise for I've not st uh, woven my ends in yet. So I'm just going to carry on. So I've still got uh, two stitches left there, and now I've got four up here. So I'm still jumping these first two and going into the last two. I just have to uh, move that so I could work into these stitches. Just uh, pay attention to the uh, to these ends because uh, these stitches can pour a little bit. Well, that's fine because you can just uh, just snug them back in there. Uh, and they'll sort themselves out when it comes to uh, weaving everything in. Right, so change your colour again. And I know, you know it is a bit tedious uh, having to change colour on every row, but uh, by the time this blanket is done, it looks absolutely stunning. And it looks so complicated as well with the uh, different uh, changes of colour. Right, so I will see you in a second for the final row. Right, so on to row four. So what we're going to do now is we've only got two stitches here, so and we can't decrease anything. So this means we're going to work straight across. Uh, so what we're going to do is go into the top of this chain three on our starting cha uh, set of chains, connect our yarn. I'm just I always uh, hold, like to hold my finger uh, actually on that because uh, it stops it moving anywhere and just keeps it a little bit tighter. So what we're gonna do is yarn over. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, actually work over this yarn tail because we can take it across, and I'm gonna go into this first stitch here because we don't want to decrease anything here uh, because it's part of the edge. So I'm just gonna pop one in. I'm gonna give us a little bit of a tug because that'll just uh, draw that loop in a little bit uh, more, and do a double crochet in every stitch along. Uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to carry on working the exact same style uh, that we have been doing on our outside corners on the, and our inside corners and I will meet you when we get to the end. Right, so I'm just uh, coming up to the last leg of uh, row 4 of the uh, border, so I'm just going to uh, stitch along here. And I'll do a little bit of explaining. Oh, 
Oops. Happens to us all. <laughs> right, I'm just coming upon my last couple of stitches on this row. So we've got the uh, two stitches to the side there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, hold this uh, little, little tail out my way and go through that first one and go through this next one. So it's the one on the corner there. And then since the next stitch is actually this stitch here, that, that means uh, we don't do any more, that's the end of the row. So what we're going to do is, into this first stitch, we're just going to slip stitch into there, this time. Just like that, and then pull out enough yarn, so you can uh, do a little uh, trickery with a yarn needle and weave that uh, end right in there. I think so, these two don't come out, I think I'm just going to uh, Tie these together and just, I'm not pulling this tight, that's just basically uh, just to stop them stitches coming apart. See, it still will move a little bit, but not by not by much. Then all that will get weaved in. So, if I bring you back to the beginning. So we've got our four rows there, which are nice and easy to see because of the, the different colours. You can see that when we start here, it's going to be the exact same four rows. And then the same there, then the same. You know, it's all the same until you get right to the corner. Uh, but again, uh, if you're not on a... When you're starting, if you're not in a corner, you're joining to the top of a chain three. And... If you're, you are in a corner, you join into the uh, second in the chain two. So that's about it uh, for this part of the tutorial. So uh, carry on stitching until you end up with a corner. What looks, looks like this. Well, you end up with uh, that. And then when you do your next one, you end up like that. You see this uh, side's ever so slightly different. But as you can see, one, two, three, four. Our stitch count is still the same. It just uh, ends up uh, looking a bit, uh, bit discombobulated there. But the next part of the tutorial to do the uh, to do the border that that should fix all this and it should give the, all these uh, starting points and finishing points a little bit more stability. So carry on stitching, and when you're ready to move on, we will be doing a lovely, uh, uh, nice edge on this, and then that will be our blanket complete. So. I don't think this looks absolutely fantastic. Right, so on to the next part. So I will stop talking now and I'll see you in a moment. Right, so we are on to our border. So what I've done is I've done a little bit, and yeah, I know it's black, but I'm going to switch colours uh, to uh, basically show you uh, how we tackle the uh, bits where the stitches aren't facing in the correct way. So on the ends of these rows. So, what what I've actually done is, we'll just get to here, even though it does dip in a little bit on uh, on the, on the two, two of these sides, it does this, uh, it does actually eat the, even out, as you've just seen. So, I'm, I'm going to actually do this in a bit of a different colour, just so you can see what I'm doing. And what you're going to need is a little tape measure, because it, it does come in handy for this. Right, so... As you can see here, I want I want to know how many stitches exactly I need to put across there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to measure it. I always find it easier uh, doing it this way. So this is going to be where my uh, first stitch is, right here. So I'm going to put my tape measure there. I'm measuring this in centimetres. So that's about five centimetres, as you can see. To there. So then I'm going to measure five centimetres on a regular row. Could be any regular row in this kind of area. So, put it on a stitch, measure five, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stitches to my five centimeters. So, 
to to start your row, you can you can basically basically start anywhere. Uh, you can start in a corner or on one of these uh, nice straight edge bits, and just pull pull up a loop and chain three because we're working in double crochet still. So one, two, and three. You can work over this tail. I'm not going to bother because, uh, as you can see, I've I've already started in black. So I'm just trying to make this part of the video as short as possible. Uh, because it's the same technique for the entire way around your blanket. You work your corners the same as you've been working your corners and you work in your double crochets the exact same. So nothing's different and nothing has changed. So I'm just coming up to these stitches so I'm just going to double check because my short term memory is atrocious. So five centimeters and I need one two three four five six seven, seven stitches. So I'll just bring this a bit closer so I'm just going to go into this first little area. Now there's not there there's uh, you just got to kind of do this by eye, try and space them out the best you can and as evil as you can. So that's one. I'm just going to go through this little bit there. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six and that should be seven. So as you, as you can see, that's uh, just bridged that across. It can look a little bit wonky on this first round of the border, but we're going to just put two rounds on this uh, because the second round will even this out even more. So you just car carry on the same. The, the next time you get to uh, the part where you have a lot of rows finishing, like we've just uh, done here, it's always good to just double double check how long uh, a distance it is and uh, check uh, how many stitches you need for that gap. Uh, it just takes a lot of the guesswork and out of it and it will give you a border which is a lot more even with your stitch count without doing a stitch count because uh, you know this pattern we've just been working stitch for stitch so that being said uh, I hope you've all enjoyed this tutorial um, it's been a bit of a long one uh, but I hope that I've managed to explain the process behind this blanket long enough and, or easy enough, should I say, uh, for you all to follow. I don't know why I'm carrying on in this purple, because I'm actually using black. Uh, well, anyway, uh, yeah, as you can see, that's still dipping in slightly. Uh, so on the next on the next row, it, it'll just even these out, and it'll just give a bit more stability to those areas. So that's all from me uh, today. Um, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel, and if you'd like to leave a comment on this video, that's really appreciated. Oh, look at that, I just pulled all those out. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram as Crochet Kyle. So until next time, I will see you guys soon. Bye.